bank account uh, we want to add the following string to our class so public string to string sorry it's not a string it's a method so string to string read the instructions try to understand it try to do it yourself but we're going to do it here and solve for it our method should return a string so at the end of this we want to return a string and it contains the account's name in balance separated by a comma in a space so it should look something like this let's do that right now so we have our string name and we have a string balance we just want to manipulate the string so we want to return some string i'm just going to call it answer and i'll set it equal to so far we already know the name right we can append to it a comma and a space like this so we've gotten this whole first part done right now what we need to do is deal with this negative sign and this dollar right here right so we can use the format string format for this we actually have to first we want to remove this negative sign so that we can put a dollar in front of it if it is negative though we're gonna want to you know keep it at a negative so we'll have to put it back so let's say if our balance is less than zero this is handling the negative condition if it's less than zero we want this negative sign to be the next thing so we are going to append to our answer the answer plus equals a negative dollar sign like this so now we have a negative dollar sign this is taken care of and now we just need our uh, last value the actual account balance as our answer so let's multiply balance by a negative one so times equals negative one and if you don't want to manipulate the original result which is actually good we don't want to do that what we can do is we can set a new uh, local variable called balance and we'll set it to this dot balance so our current local variable is going to store whatever we have in here but we're not going to manipulate this directly anymore we're just going to manipulate this local variable so balance is times equals negative one so we're just multiplying this right and then otherwise so if our value is not um, less than zero we'll have an else and we're just going to set our answer to be plus equals and then we'll have this dollar sign because we don't need to worry about that negative and then when we're done we are just going to want to return this plus our balance but remember we have to have two decimal place after right so we're gonna have to use the format that i was talking about earlier we're gonna return answer so what we have already inside of our answer all of what we've done already so far plus our format so string dot format and with our string format we are going to this is how you format i have a whole video on this you can search it up on the channel the way we do our format is we have something inside of these quotation marks and then we have whatever we're trying to format so we want to format our balance and then inside of here we want to have a percentage sign that starts it off how many decimal places we have afterwards so that's 0.2 and then it's an f for like a float it's pretty much it we can end this let's press submit if you have any questions you can always leave them in the comments below i have to log in really quickly submit um, we have a bunch more oh let's actually take a look at this so we have an error here incompatible oh incompatible types because our balance is a double i have to make this a double and not an integer so be aware of that if you have any questions as always leave them in the comments below if you want any more examples we have a whole playlist in the description below the like button where i go over these problems and explain them that passed nine out of nine tests this is the code uh, and this is practice it 8.12 with our two string bank account